September 29, 2005, is the day that Lowell Harvickson will constantly be reminded of for the rest of his life. It was on the, the last bale of the year, cleaning out the baler, and, and uh, I got caught in a chain and sprocket. Lowell was airlifted to St. Paul's Region Trauma Center, where his right arm was amputated just below the elbow, and life as he knew it changed forever. I had to learn to write left-handed, and uh, I signed myself out of the hospital. It wasn't pretty, but it was readable. <laughs> but Lowell and his wife Debbie's biggest concern wasn't writing. It was their livelihood, farming and ranching. I'm trying to do as much as I can, and, but I am limited considerably, very limited. Those limitations are no longer an issue, thanks to these volunteers, one of whom is motivated to help farmers like Lowell because he once, too, needed help. Five years ago, I, my wife had cancer and uh, passed away about three months later after that. And it was during harvest, and uh, my neighbors came in and finished harvesting my wheat, and so I was really appreciative of that. And so I thought if I could help other people get through some rough spots, why that was my motive to volunteer. And while some of the 10 farmers may have been a bit hesitant to accept that outstretched hand at first. I guess it's the, the farmer in him. It's always easy to give help, but to receive it's a little different. People like prostate cancer patient Tom Amin and Lowell Harvickson say welcoming the help may have been what saved them, because without it. We would be in a very tight bind of possibly having to say we couldn't farm anymore. But Farm Rescue is making sure that doesn't happen. Near Minot, for NBC North Dakota News, I'm Joanna Small.